center of gravity. So one of the main challenges for animators is uh, creating a sense of weight. And so uh, we have a number of tutorials on the topic of balance and weight shift, uh, how that appears in uh, static poses, dynamic poses, uh, etc. So the first topic is the concept of center of gravity. So the center of gravity is the average position of an object's a weight distribution. So for some simple objects like a brick or a ball it would be the, the geometric center. Um, for more complicated objects, uh, it um, would be some average uh, position. And in fact, the um, center of gravity can even be outside of the object. Like uh, with a donut, it would be in the center of the hole. This uh, curved banana, it's um, somewhere inside the curve. So. Now, you might hear the term center of gravity and center of mass and wonder what the difference is. Well, uh, as long as we're not talking about objects the sizes of planets and moons and such, there's virtually no difference between center of gravity and center of mass. So uh, we'll just use the center of gravity. Now, uh, for uh, uh, humans, uh, our center of gravity is roughly located in the center of our body, so approximately uh, where your belly button is and, and um, uh, typically inside your torso. But it's not uh, an exact fixed position in your body because your body is not a fixed shape. You can uh, bend your torso, you can move your arms and legs, and when you change your shape, uh, the location of your center of gravity uh, shifts. So uh, when you raise your arms, your center of gravity rises uh, higher in your torso. If you uh, bend over, uh, it could actually uh, be located outside of your body, as, uh, as you see in this uh, third illustration. Now, uh, one property of the center of gravity is that uh, if you have an object that's exactly balanced on a pivot point, then the center of gravity will be either directly above the pivot point or directly below the pivot point. Now, if it's directly above the pivot point, then any small shift in the uh, object and it tips over and falls over. So that's an unstable balance. Uh, but if we have a situation like this um, uh, last illustration uh, with the banana, uh, here, because of the position of the center of gravity uh, is just below the pivot point, then in this case, if the uh, banana uh, shifts a little bit, then it will just rock back and forth um, uh, on that pivot point. So we uh, see an example of that here. So this little toy, the uh, bird is uh, balanced with its beak on uh, the pivot point, which is that uh, stand. And uh, from this, we realize the center of gravity, because this happens to be a, a stable balance, the center of gravity uh, has to be directly below the pivot point, so it must be located uh, where that uh, red X is marking. Now, uh, how is that possible? Well, for this toy, it, it's uh, light plastic, except on the ends of the wings. The ends of the wings have um, uh, lead coins uh, inserted, and that happens to put almost all the weight on the two uh, wingtips, and then the center of gravity is located at the X. We have the same thing, but a little more obvious. Uh, in this setup, which you could uh, make at home, uh, take two forks, put them in a cork, uh, stick a match through the cork, and then uh, carefully balance that on uh, a glass. Now, if you, uh, if you light the end of the match, the match uh, will burn 
uh, the burning stops when it um, touches the, the rim of the glass. The contact with the glass just puts out the, the match. And at that point, this whole uh, setup is balanced right on the uh, end of the match on that point. So, uh, and it's a stable uh, balance, not extremely stable, but it, um, it will sit there for a while. And uh, this tells us that the center of gravity is uh, directly below this pivot point, so roughly where this um, X mark is. And of course it's because the almost all the weight is from the two uh, forks and the average position uh, of the two forks is, is right in between them at this um, location. Now uh, another way of uh, estimating the center of gravity that we'll be seeing more of is if um, you hang an object then the um, center of gravity will be located um, directly below the point of suspension. Now uh, the center of gravity is something which uh, could be calculated given the uh, uh, weight distribution for an object. Uh, so here we see in these photos of this uh, hammer, so here it's balanced on my finger and here we see the hammer hanging uh, from a uh, string. And we see from this that the center of gravity for the hammer must be located uh, near where the head attaches to the handle. So uh, it, if uh, it was simple like this, it's uh, something that could be calculated, say the head is four times heavier than the handle, then the center of gravity is located um, four times closer to the head of the hammer than to the center of the handle, uh, so forth. Now, uh, this is interesting in theory, but in most cases, uh, objects and characters have uh, uh, geometries that are, that are too complicated to, um, to calculate the, uh, the center of gravity unless you had a computer program that, um, that analyzed that. So, but for animators, that's not so important. It's, this is more to uh, help your understanding of what the uh, center of gravity means so that you have a intuition for uh, locating it. So in summary, uh, the uh, center of gravity is the average location of an object's weight distribution. Uh, human center of gravity is roughly uh, near the center of the torso. Uh, but it will shift depending on a character's pose. The center of gravity is located directly above or below a pivot point of balance. And finally, the center of gravity is located directly below the point of suspension for a hanging object. Uh, we'll see more of that in the next uh, tutorial, so I'll see you then.